Hello and welcome to Pocket Gamer Not Busy's YouTube channel. I'm John Jordan and today we're looking at um, my favourite game of the year so far, um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It actually came out in 2015, um, but uh, there we go. <laughs> I've been playing it ever since. Um, and it's kind of standard in many ways as an RPG, um, takes many of the best practices we expect in free to play games at the moment. And there's been some updates which I kind of wanted to go through. In some ways they seem very small updates and a lot of people who aren't playing this game you maybe think, what, what's this chat going on about? Um, this is tiny, maybe not even features. But for someone who's been playing the game, literally I've been playing this game certainly every week since it came out, pretty much every day, um, and eagle-eyed among you may realise that um, this is not the... Um, this is this is a a new version of the game I'm playing in the sense that this, this one I'm level 39. So I'm actually playing on an iPad on this one. I'm actually playing it on I, iPad and Android. I've got two separate accounts. One is I'm focusing on the dark side. One I'm focusing on the light side. So that's how obsessed I am with this. But um, the thing I'm going to point out today is if we go into the bottom um, right hand corner, it says activities. So the activities, daily activities. If you if you don't have to do these at all, but if you do them, you get extra stuff. So this, in a sense, is the developer pointing out what it's what it thinks are good things for you to do one to enjoy the game progress in the game but also it encourages you to do that by getting these extra rewards so we can see that what the rewards are we can see soft currency xp hard currency so a lot of players like like a lot of players basically i try and do the daily activities um so how do you do the daily activities so one way of doing it so we can say here use the force use three light side battles so we go in this is the light side this is how you select to do a battle um so you can see at the bottom here if i if i hit a six i can go in and do a battle so i can do that i can choose borrow here from someone else so it's my setup um so this is how the game plays this is my side that's their side i can do it auto and it'll do it myself and the, the game will just do it itself or i can do it myself and choose um the kind of options i want to do if i want to be, be more strategic um so you can see it's one of three, so there's actually three waves I've got to go through to complete that. Um, let's retreat out of that. Um, because this takes time, you know, it takes time to do that. So cleverly what the developer has done is um, had, used to have these things, or has these things called SIM tickets. And the SIM ticket was, if you look at this um, level I'm on now, I, this is a three star level. So I've basically completed that level before, three starred it. So perfectly, I've basically completed it without losing any of my squad. That's basically how the star system works. Um, and basically because I've kind of beaten the system I can now I can go back and simulate it and the simulation means I go back and basically just get the rewards by using a sim ticket so you can see here on this screen I've got 332 sim tickets um, now what you used to have what you used to have to do is is every time you wanted to sim you'd have to you go sim and you get earn rewards and you could if you remember what I was doing in daily activities I had to um, do three uh, battles so I would have had to have done this three times like this you can see here obviously where I'm coming to the ne now there's a very small change as I say but it's a, um, a big thing for someone who's playing it fairly heavily like me um, so you can see here I finished these these ones so I claim these rewards that goes away so I've got another that's another one to do finish ten battles um, finish five on hard okay so um, here instead of pressing three times which may not seem like very much but you know um, I can just go I can do three in one. So um, obviously that's speeding stuff up. The, we do that here. Um, okay, so I've done three battles. I've got all those rewards. Um, I can only actually, uh, for these hard battles, I can only actually do a three, three sim, I can only spend three sim tickets at any one time. Even though I've got more um, energy, they're limited um, in terms of you can only do, even if you're pressing it, each individual sim ticket, you can only do that three times for each, each um, hard. Um, battles I've leveled up that's good you can see why I'm should be doing these um daily things it encourages you to do that kind of stuff so we can see here so I've won five battles I've done that but what I haven't I done I haven't finished 10 total battles still got one to do and um, I've still got 62 um, energy left so I can, what I can now do is um, I'm on the normal setting so I can use as many sim tickets as I've got energy so go into this one again multi sim so you can see now I can go I can play this battle 10 times by using, obviously I'm using up sim cards 
but um, just hit that. It's used up all my energy now. I've got all those rewards. So again, this seems like a very small thing, but for the developer, it, it shows the developer really understands um, what the audience wants. I'm sure the audience has asked for this because it's really boring. The whole point of a sim is using a sim card is to speed up what's going on and just get the reward. So to then have to press like multiple times, you're not gaining anything from it. You just want, want the rewards and want to complete the, the task. So why just not replace all those single button presses with just one button press? So exactly, so now to finish those, so you see how fast this goes now. The other thing that was really dull um, were these challenges. So challenges are a slightly different thing, more kind of supposedly puzzle based type stuff. But again here, I can go just go in and sim. So before you had you couldn't sim these at all, you had to go in and, um, uh, oh I can't sim that one because I've not actually done that one yet. So there we go, um, I can't complete this one, I'm going to wait for that because I haven't on this gear battle, I've not actually done any of it yet, so I can't sim it yet because I haven't actually completed it on three stars. Um, what else is there? Uh, da, da, da. So the only things that you can't now sim, the daily fights. So this is like the PvP, so this is me playing someone else's squad, not actually playing against them, it's not, it's not, um, um, it's asynchronous, not not synchronous, so I'm basically playing, the AI is using their, their cards, I can't, I, so for this one you have to basically battle it and then just leave it on auto and just unless you want to play spend a few minutes playing it yourself um, but so, so this now is now the, the real focus of the daily um, kind of activities because the squadron you have to do three of them to complete it and you can't sim them so everything else has kind of been um, kind of squished yeah you know, squished down made made irrelevant because what you want out of it, the game developer wants you to keep coming back and playing, getting the rewards, but they, they don't. There's, there's nothing inherent in the gameplay there, so why not automate it all? Um, another kind of interesting thing from this means that certainly I have been spending. So here, even in shipments, you have things you have to do. Um, and you have to buy three things every day to, to to do the daily achievement on that. So I've now pretty much every day buying sim tickets because sim tickets are now this thing, a very powerful thing. They're always powerful, but now they're even more powerful because they speed up so much stuff. So if, if EA um, st 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 stops giving out so many sim tickets or makes them more expensive, then th that's going to like gate progress. So um, I'm sure like a lot of people as well are kind of spending and making sure they've got a lot of sim tickets. Um, so I've got to buy three things. So um, let's quickly go out. Uh, what else should we buy? Um, let's put in 50 on Ewok Scout. And um, these are materials. Normally with most of these, you kind of own a whole bunch of them already. Oh, I don't know that one. I'll buy that. Um, no, I'll buy that as well. They're now going to activities, so I've done my three deliveries from the store. Got bonus energy, challenge completion, that's, I'm still waiting on that one. Gear, okay, so I've not done those. Um, so that was the one I did. Data cards. So this is something interesting that you can't sim yet either. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so I've done that. Um, so I had to press that three times. It may seem a small thing to you, but not if you're playing this game a lot. So now, uh, Master Collector, I've done that. So now I have to go into the characters. You can see I'm doing this very quickly because um, I've been playing this game a lot and I know kind of what I have to do. Uh, so upgrade that. I need to train one of them. Let's train him. Um, let's check it all in. Can I do this? I can only train up to 40 because that's my maximum. I can only train up characters in the game to my maximum, so that's 40 at the moment. So let's go and train someone else who I might find useful. The Jedi console is pretty useful. Uh, okay, so he's up to 40 as well. I've still got things I can train. I could be doing this quicker, I suppose. Um, yeah, the Ewok I quite like. Uh, I'll train that. Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Uh, kick that off. So I didn't do the dark side, did I? Because um, I'm playing this on this level. I'm playing light side one. So I'm gonna obviously multi sim. I'm going to again use up all the energy. So I've got 45 energy from completing something from completing some stuff there so I'm going to use all that I'm going to say I'm using up eight sim cards to do this so that's eight battles straight away boom um, so that's speedy that makes me feel happy um, can, uh, the cantata battles again similar thing here these are a bit of a pain before no not a problem sim 16 battles there bonk uh, okay so getting, just getting loads more rewards as well so the one thing's um, no I've not done that I've not filled a slot so the slot is just these um, gear slots you just have to do one of those okay so that's done so now you can see I'm getting down the challenge completion I've got to wait a bit of time on that daily arena I can go in and, and do that kind of auto auto manually but I have to wait for it get galaxy wars as well but basically you can just see with that sim thing just like really really super quick 
Um, so that makes me happy. Um, the other nice thing that they've done, which I can't really show you on this because I'm not at a high enough level yet. In fact, it's not even open, is it? So the other thing you can't see here is in this mod battle. So um, when I get to character up to level 50, um, there's another, it's a bit like the a bit like the gear. So with it, with a character, you level them up. Here you have a level um, that you train them up with. We've seen before, we have this shard thing in the bottom right, which is the stars. So I have to collect shards to level up their their they're kind of the star level that shows a different way of doing it and then there's the gear level so there's three different ways of leveling them up which kind of um kind of interlinked and now we have this mod thing as well so we have mods so you can add you can see here probably difficult to see but there's five different um kind of mod slots that improve stuff like health and, and, and attack and defense and stuff and you can add you can add mods into that so there's now there's four different ways of doing it so in in the sense that yeah, it's going to be out for what are we talking about now almost you know eight months so these are quite big features coming in, um, or quite, in a sense, they're quite big features for someone like me who's been playing the game a lot. Quite small features for someone who's not played the game to go, what are you adding? Because this mods thing is now an entirely new way to, to to kind of play around with your player and decide when you get a mod, a mod kind of card, which which character does it go in? Because um, they're kind of more discreet, I guess, than some of the other material stuff, which you tend to get a lot of. Um, so it's, everything's kind of focusing, and you can just see the developer is really. Looking at the audience, talking to the audience, talking to the players, um, and highlighting what's going on. There's another thing I can't show you here because I'm not in one in, in on this account. There's guilds, so guilds were a big thing that came a couple of months ago. Um, you can do kind of bigger attacks together as a guild, and there's certain items and elements you can only get if you are part of a guild. And with guild, you have a guild currency, which you can only get as part of a guild. So all these things are just deepening um, kind of players um, who've been playing for a long period of time because obviously you want to keep players in. Now I've spent, I've kind of invested in inverted commas so much time into this game that I'm happy at certain points to spend not vast sums of money. I'm no whale, but certainly you know maybe ten twenty dollars suddenly starts starts being spent, um, and that's you know clearly good for the developer. They they one they want people to love their game and play it a lot, and two they want to give them the opportunity to then buy stuff. So there we go. That was a quick, um, slightly over enthusiastic, <laughs> I'm sure, go through Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and what the um, or EA and Capital Games, which is um, EA's EA owned studio, which actually develops this, is doing to keep this game fresh and alive. And long may they continue doing it. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. So we do a lot of analysis of free to play mobile games. It is our thing. If that's your thing too, do subscribe, and you will hear us talking about a lot more of them. Thanks for watching.